It is bigger than the Louvre and bigger than the Buckingham Palace and also bigger than the Palace of the Forbidden City and it is probably not where you expect it to be. In front of me, and I'm walking there right now, is indeed the biggest palace in the world. And um, I'm here in the city of Bucharest, the capital city of Romania. And wow, the benches are pretty rough around here in this magnificent street here that leads towards the palace area. And back in the day, all the ministries were here and all the famous politicians walked these magnificent long streets underneath the trees. But these days, the benches pretty much are more home to homeless people and the road is pretty much more home to parked cars than anything else because, of course, the empire or the socialist construct collapsed. Every bench here pretty much looks like this and what's also interesting is that everywhere you can see those stickers, the UEFA Mafia. Because people don't seem to like that the football games are playing are, are gonna are gonna be played here. Um, so it's interesting to see that as well. And um, yeah, I'm just going to talk a little bit about the palace now because it's very, very interesting to me at least. It is the largest administrative building in the world and it is around 90 meters tall and goes as deep into the ground as it rises up into the sky. I will show it to you in a second when I get there and then I'll give you some more information and today I'm going to try to see if we can actually go inside and film it because it's it's uh, I read that it's not allowed to do but we will we'll find out if we can and over there I'm just gonna just gonna check out if this is a nice place for me to do a thumbnail here wow it looks like in uh, <laughs> it looks like in Chernobyl or something what the hell this is really run down here, but very cool. I like the architecture, the brutal architecture. Okay, let's do a thumbnail here. But actually, a better thumbnail would be a thumbnail of in front of the palace when I'm there. Wow, so check this out. This is the world's largest palace. And it's also the world's most expensive administrative building and it was built in 1986 by then communist leader of Romania, Nicolae Ceausescu. So, indeed, this was not a bargain. It's got 1,100 rooms and the construction of the Palace of the Parliament was the most extreme expression of the systemization program imposed on Romania during uh, its communist times and this systemization program was actually, um, they actually got it from Ceausescu's visit to North Korea earlier on. And then they said, okay, let's make, uh, let's make Romania a, um, a socialized society. And therefore, we need to tear down villages and hamlets and cities and make the, the urban layout of, this, of, of, of Romania basically like they did it in North Korea very houseman like like the, like the Paris boulevards and the streets in Paris that they have from um, um, Arc de Triomphe going, going in all directions at all, all that if you're familiar with that you know what I'm talking about and what's interesting is that they have all those boulevards too. Kind of like in Paris. And this is why people also tend to call it, tend to call Bucharest. Let's get a thumbnail here. This is why people tend to call Bucharest the Paris of the East. And here is still a uh, function in ministry I've seen. 
it is the Ministry of uh, Justice and Tourism, I think. I'm not going to film too much here, so they don't throw me out of the country. But let's see if we can get a little bit sneaky. <clears throat> and I'll see you inside, I hope. So I've come around the side here, and it seems like that there's some more or less secret entrances <laughs> on the boulevards. But it's so large, it is unbelievable. I've never seen this before. Let's check it out from this side. So this is now, to give you an idea, this is now on the very back of the building. and on the east side and there again is what a uh, 90 meter tall structure in brutalist architecture <clears throat> but i gotta say the only thing that these big boulevards are really here for today <laughs> it seems to me at least is for racing cars since what? The cars are speeding like crazy. It's all marble in here. I mean, it's funny that you have those little chandeliers <laughs> here in the hall, and then the exact same looking big ones in the big rooms. So this is the press room, and I have the whisper. And you might be wondering, how am I allowed into the press room? Which is, because I'm press, obviously. Look at this uh, chandelier behind me, wow. Ceausescu didn't want to have an AC, even though it's so hot in these rooms, because he was afraid that someone might poison him using the AC. So this hall is in the very middle of the building, in the center, and it's got no windows whatsoever. And look how crazily the, uh, the ceiling is decorated. I like how it's so white on the side with the lights. So I just found out that in this room you just saw, Ceausescu actually wanted to design it like this, that you can open up the ceiling, the glass ceiling, so you can fly inside here with his helicopter. <laughs> Check this out. This is where they take pictures. And this is the balcony that Ceausescu used to look down from onto the people of Romania until the revolution at least. Wow. So this was it inside the largest palace in the world. And I have some more interesting facts for you that I just found out during um, this little tour of the building. Back in the day, back in the communist area, all the art students, when they built this, this building in the 80s, all the art students from all the universities in Romania had to come and work here and design architectural stuff inside the building for at least one year. Of course, not mentioning pay because it was a communist society, so... But so interesting, I, uh, I saw a few uh, of the radiators that they designed in there and also the rugs and the radiators, they uh, matched the rugs. Just crazy. I think you can see it in some of the videos that I put in. And then um, what's also interesting is that they just used Romanian materials. So they used uh, Romanian marble, they used pink marble. Um, 
in some of the buildings that's very uh, unique for here and they use so much Romanian leather she said that they use 350 square meters of leather just in that one room that we visited I have no concept of how much that is but seems to be a lot so they only use Romanian materials inside there and um, the the systematization that I was mentioning earlier um, the Ceausescu made in order to build this whole area was also pretty pretty crazy to be honest he demolished about nine square kilometers of uh, the city so a whole district of Bucharest was demolished just in order to build this palace and the whole area around it and here this park also is also a um, a part of the demolition that was going on but yeah I think I am gonna leave you with this today with these impressions and I hope you enjoyed the largest palace in the world I will walk around the city center now and later on um, maybe I'll come up with with something for another video and I'll just bring the camera along and yeah I will see you soon <laughs>